So aside from the obvious things like a magnetic screwdriver or a decent pair of wire cutters, there are some tools that I just cannot live without. To start with, have you ever been playing a game on a super hot day and as a result your PC is basically cooking, but you can't be bothered with going into your BIOS and turning up the fan speeds to remedy it? Well, today's your lucky day because your motherboard or your laptop maker probably has a software that you can download to control not just your individual fans, but RGB lighting, CPU and RAM frequencies. They can even allow you to monitor important stats like the temperatures of things like your CPU, motherboard, and sometimes even your graphics card. And it's all from this one piece of software, which is way nicer than having to use a bunch of different programs to do each thing individually. And if you're wanting to control your graphics card's power usage, frequency, or fans, or even just check on temperatures, then get MSI Afterburner. It's basically a must-have for any PC in my book. I can't tell you the number of times I've bought a laptop or a PC with missing screws. There's always at least one screw missing. And the annoying thing is that there's such a simple solution. Just put all your screws in a container or a bowl or something that stops the screws disappearing into the abyss that is a shaggy carpet or your floor in general. Have you ever been upgrading a CPU and then you realize after taking out your old one that you've got nowhere to put it? You don't just want to put it on a table because then a chip or a pen might get broken off. So where do you put it? Well, you can use one of these bad boys. This is a CPU clamshell and it comes with pretty much every brand new CPU you buy. Along the lines of upgrades and better temperatures, if you've ever bought a stack of fans and gone to install them in your PC, you'll know that that process is long, tedious, and sometimes painful. Which is why I bought this thing. It's more or less a low power drill and I bought it a couple years back for only about 30 bucks from Bunnings and frankly, I haven't looked back. I've probably saved myself a good year's worth of screwing and unscrewing stuff, and I've probably also saved myself from getting major wrist pains from just the amount of fans I've had to uninstall or install over the years. So all around it was just a great purchase for 30 bucks. The other great purchase I've made was this air duster called the Compu Cleaner. It's frankly just great for getting rid of a heap of dust quickly and easily, while saving hundreds of dollars by not having to buy compressed air cans. The brushes it came with have also held up really well after almost two years of use, which is pretty great. You know what else is great though? You're watching this video right here. 